Hi everybody, Average Model Guy here bringing you the first build video of our Hobby Boss 118th scale Harrier 2 model kit. As you can see, we've got our first step here. This is going to be the engine. It's in two halves, plus we've got our fan, our shroud, and the pieces. Now this here, these are going to go together kind of like so, and then this is what's going to turn the engine nozzles for the engine here. So. And that's what those pieces are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get all this painted up. Get everything probably assembled. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll show you in detail really quick how these pieces are supposed to go. They go like this. Gonna fit like so. And then this piece goes in between them like that. Then it's got these two little pins here that you stick in here. And then it just rotates the whole unit back and forth. Pretty simple construction on that. Um, then, like I said, the fan goes together pretty easy. It's, it's gonna go in there like so. And then this back piece is just gonna fit back in there. And now uh, it doesn't like snap tight, so you can actually snap it together and then test it. So if you kind of blow on it, fan blade actually spins. Uh, that's pretty cool. So. Anyways, I'm going to get these all tore back apart here and get some paint on them and we'll get them assembled and you'll get to see what it looks like painted and all assembled up. Alright, and we're back here. Here's our next step. Looks like we got the main wheel well. And we've got our tires and our wheels, and we've got our actual springs. Come down here to our, our landing gear pieces. Now I didn't take all. There's four. I think it's these four here. I didn't want to take them off because they're supposed to be in a certain order, and I didn't want to get them confused. Because Lord knows if I get up for a second, uh, yeah, it's going to be a mess. So I'll be right back when I get all this assembled. All right, fillers. This is what we got done here on this section. Got the main landing gear in. I got a little bit of white paint on there. I'll get that off. Some rubbing alcohol or something. But um, wheels do spin. Another cool thing about this is, is it is. Come on, come down here. It is spring loaded. <laughs> so it did require two screws in here to hold this main piece housing together, and then it actually has a spring inside here. I had to put inside there, so that was pretty cool. Um, a close up here you can see when I press these little plastic pins in here allow to do that you've got one there one there and then one up here that allows that tension to do what it does right there I thought that was pretty cool see we got up inside there I'm gonna weather that a little bit more up inside there once I get it but yeah you got that uh, got the landing gear done we'll have the next pieces here in just a second All right, we are back with our next section here. I went ahead and assembled this one. This was a pretty easy piece. It was just two halves, this piece, and then that little clear piece. Uh, no screws or anything required for that. I think this is going to be part of the nose cone, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, good rivet, rivet detail and everything. Really impressed with it, so. All right, but here's what we got up now. We've got our seat that we're going to put together. Finish our cockpit. Here's our stake. Any detail on that or not? It's got great detail. Um, yeah, all these pieces do. Here's a little panel. I think there's going to be a decal that needs to go on that. But I'm going to get everything painted and the buttons and everything taken care of. And when I come back, it'll be assembled and painted.